Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Amazon exclusive 4-pack Thor. So this is the Age of Ultron Thor, and I have to say it is a pretty darn good figure, especially by Marvel Legends standards. I'm really pleased with it overall. Let's take a look at the past Thor. So this is the first one, the very first Thor we got, which had a decent amount of paintwork and was mostly sculpted pretty well. It was just that really awful head that looked nothing like Chris Hemsworth at all, but still a decent figure. Moving on, we end up with this Thor, which has almost what looks like a decent head, but still looks pretty awkward. Still, same body, but decent figure. Now this one, decent body, and still the head doesn't look quite like Chris Hemsworth, but it definitely looks much better than before, so that's a pretty good upgrade. I think the beard just looks a little bit thick and it's throwing it off, and maybe maybe the jawline's off. I'm not sure. Something's not quite right, but in some poses, it looks just like him, so I'm definitely okay with that. And this one has an all-new body, which I'm pretty happy about. The only issue is, and somebody else mentioned this to me, I think it's just an optical illusion, but the proportions look off. I think it's the way his upper body mixed with his skirt piece. It kind of makes him look like he's elongated, but checking the uh, actual proportions, I think it's pretty much accurate. I think it's just an optical illusion, so it's not that big of a deal. And as far as a height comparison, we can stand the old Thor up against the new Thor, and this one is just a little bit taller. Uh, also, I have to say, from this angle, it's a spot-on likeness to Chris Hemsworth. It's just when you look straight at it, it looks a little bit off, but still it's a really nice head sculpt. Uh, the actual height measurement is about seven and a quarter inches, a little bit more, which makes him about 18 and a half centimeters. And he comes with, of course, his hammer mule near, which is pretty well done. Is it the exact same sculpt? Um, doesn't look to be the exact same, so that's kind of cool. Nicely done, though. Nicely sculpted. You can see they actually put paint job. Put it. Wow. I cannot talk, guys. I don't get enough sleep. They put paint job on the handle and on the hammer itself. There's a little bit of like a black wash in there, so it looks pretty nice. I wish this wasn't sculpted bent, but uh, I guess they don't really have a choice because they're not going to make it out of cloth. So that's fine. Paint job on the head is actually really good. The hair has a few different shades in it. It looks like it's molded in yellow and then dry brushed with a light color and has a darker wash on it so it gives it a really nice look and then the face they painted the beard on there on top of the sculpt and they painted the eyes in there fairly well so it looks really nice uh, the body itself it has some blue paint in here and then obviously you can see all of these silvers and kind of like this brat not brass like uh, I don't even know what color that would be almost like a pewter very nicely done the wrists have some nice paint work on them on these gauntlets with the red parts on there. We have a little bit of more metal work down here. Down here, unfortunately, the prototype, the hips had the same type of checkerboard pattern. Somehow that got lost in production, so that does look a bit lame, but it's okay. And we do get a black wash down here where there's actually some recess for the black wash to go. And then the boots have more of that goldish, brassish color. I'm not sure what color that is, but they look pretty good. And I want to point out, not only is the cape textured and sculpted really well, it's sculpted really well in general. It's the first Thor cape that doesn't look goofy. These both hang off to the side in a really weird fashion. This one hangs just the way it should. It's not 100% symmetrical because it wouldn't be, but it's still symmetrical enough that it looks really good on the figure. They did a great job with that cape. I'm really pleased with it. As far as articulation goes on this guy, let's pop the head off. We have just that fixed peg. Unfortunately, I really would have liked to have a hinge on there, but the hair would have limited it anyway. It does sit nicely, I have to say. You can basically just rotate the head a little bit. That's all you're going to get out of it, unfortunately. I think that's okay, though, due to the fact that he has the long hair. Shoulders have the standard ball hinges, full range of motion, no complaints there. Bicep swivel, you know, it's okay. His triceps go really far up, and they're doing that to try to hide the seam a little bit, which is okay. It's just, it makes the bicep look even smaller, because uh, Hasbro tends to give small biceps, and having a big tricep does make it look a little smaller, even though I know the tricep is a larger muscle group. Still, it does make the biceps look a little small. A double jointed elbow works just fine. For the wrists, we have a swivel, and we have a vertical hinge, which is okay, because he can hold the hammer in different angles, and that's fine. But they did sculpt the hand at kind of an awkward angle, and you can't bend it either way. So it's not 
100% perfect, but it is okay. The diaphragm joint actually works pretty well and you can actually reveal a little bit more blue paint in there, so that's a good thing. Really nice ab crunch for the diaphragm joint, goes pretty far back. Side to side, full rotation, that's the kind of diaphragm joint we need in all of our figures if they're gonna do a diaphragm joint. I, this is all one piece, so this is a little bit stiff. I do wish it was a softer plastic so it wouldn't get in the way as much. Same thing for this back piece, but you still can get the legs out there pretty far, so that's all right. And we can bring them out to the side a little bit too. Not as much as I would like, but you're not gonna probably need it anyway, so I guess that's okay. We have our thigh swivel, our double jointed knees. He has a very tiny kneecap, so it does look a little bit odd once you bend the knee, but the boot hides it if you want it to even though I guess that still looks pretty awkward. I guess that's all right like that. But still, nicely done for the most part, just that tiny kneecap. The foot goes pretty far forward, pretty far back, and we have the ankle rocker. So I think this guy is easily the best of the bunch and easily the best movie Thor figure we've gotten. And maybe, actually not maybe, definitely the best Marvel Legends figure we've gotten in quite some time, not counting Dormammu, who doesn't really count because he's kind of like a Baff, even though he's not a Baff and he was a Comic-Con exclusive. This guy is a really, really well done Legends figure. If Hasbro would put out all of their figures with this amount of quality, that would be fantastic. So definitely, I think this four pack is worth picking up, if for no other reason than to get this Thor. Super well done. Really, really liking this figure. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.